Hello viewers, OMFSaws and we are back and now we're going to be doing the mage. I'll be starting once again as you know with the dual wield. Well it's not actually dual wield but like they've brought a new type of item into the game which is obviously books and wands. So well obviously wands were in there but no special ones. I, I've got a Virtus wand on and a Virtus book. What the book will do, it will make me hit more and it will make me hit faster with magic so well if you cast faster then it's more damage isn't it oh also there's something that I've seen people going haywire about with magic and that's the fact that blood fire what is blood fire it's just their way of having blood you know like it's still like the blood thing but they had to add fire because like now because of the ultimate which turns you into an elemental uh, they won't do like obviously a blood elemental or anything like that. Jagex wouldn't do that, I don't know why, but they might have had troubles or whatever, but yeah, look, we have Gale and all that. Gale, that'll be an air elemental it'll turn you into instead of what was the white one again, that smoke, weren't it? Uh I don't know. But either way. No, I think rock was no. Well either way, rock is now uh that is that and then the ice will be water and the blood will be fire but uh, yeah enough with that speech let's go and fight some demons and show off some magic right personally this would be the least one I'd recommend for PvP unless you're in a big team um, because you'll take a lot of damage otherwise but you do deal a lot of damage. Like, there you go. Let's get straight into a fight. And you can see how fast I cast. Also, you can obviously set your auto cast, which now Ice Barrage only uses blood and water runes. Um, and then, look, look how fast I'm casting. I'm casting that with no abilities at the minute. Um, like, one, two, three. Uh, but yeah, also your abilities, they don't actually use runes, so yeah, in the long run, it's good to use your abilities there because it helps you to obviously get your magic XP and whatnot. Um, as for a threshold, Asphyxiate is amazing, it stuns them and it just deals huge damage, it's not really doing anything to him, but like in PvP based, it is absolutely insane, I love it. Uh, I tend to use that one a lot. Right, now we've got an ultimate. Let's use Omni Power. Booyah! 1,500. That was alright. But yeah, that deals damage depending on their max health. 25% of their max health, so. Wait there. Does that mean their max health is 6,000? I don't know. I thought they had more than that, to be honest with you. Right, um, let me switch it out now, I'll go into two-hander. As you'll notice, the casting will become slower, but it'll deal a lot more damage. Like, you see that, 958, uh, 1171, look at that, the damage is just huge, just on the auto-cast alone. Your abilities deal more damage as well. Uh, right, wait, let's see if I can get this one with an asphyxiate. Go, go, go. Look at that, 3,300... Whoa, that was insane. Right, I'm going to turn on some prayers as well. Mage Turmoil and Soul Split. Um, right, come on, let's get to ulti level. That's what we want to see. Ultimates. Oh, I've got to fix it again. I'll wait till after this one dies first. And then I'll use this fix it on the next one. Right. Where'd he go? There he is. Right, let's use Asphyxiate, see if we can get another good one on him. Oh, oh it weren't a total miss. Right, okay, well that one done pretty good. Right, um, I'm going to have to get close to him to use Tsunami. This is for like if you fight in a melee or fight in a group, you just... Oh yeah, huge damage. Um, and that will damage everything that's like within that sort of range of you. Uh, let's just get this dog so that the adrenaline bar don't go down. And now we're on to the next demon. Oh wait, I didn't have any prayer renewal, did I? So 
My prayer's just going down really fast. Um, and we are coming up to the last, like, really powerful ultimate. Uh, well, the last magic ultimate, in a sense. Alright, asphyxiate. Look at that damage. Hit 2,000, man. But, like, yeah, it just... It's insane because it stuns them as well. I love that one. Seriously, for PvP, it just obliterates. Come on, let's get this up nice and fast. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, right. And then, last, we have Metamorphosis, which obviously depends you into a... Uh, depends you... No, turns you into a... Elemental, depending on what you're actually casting, like because I was casting Ice Barrage, it turns me into a water elemental, and, wait, that's bugged, are they trying to melee me, oh no, um, but yeah, it makes you deal more damage for, while you're in that sort of form, which you will stay in that form for 20 seconds, which is good, right, now we get on to the last one, this is the uh, most recommended for PK, and just because obviously you have really good defense, and you have a nice damage output and like, here we go, look for a threshold. I like to have reflect on because any damage they deal to you, they take some back as well. You know, kind of like vengeance. And yeah, it's hard for them to actually manage to damage you as well. Um, here we go, asphyxiate. Jesus, I, I think that should actually be an ultimate to be honest with you. Because that is just insane for damage. That, that done more damage than like all my ultimates, I reckon. But yeah, you can do like every ultimate, even with one hander. So this is why mage is overpowered. You know, it's, you're not restricted to what ultimates you can and can't use. And like, if you got a shield, you can even do like all the shield ones. Like, I know I don't need to do this because um, I'm full health. But look, you can even use rejuvenate to heal yourself. So. This is what happens at the minute in the beta, you know, you just go into the worldy and you're just going to get jumped by someone using mage, wearing the exact same gear, always in tank mage form as well, you know, with a shield, so, yeah, it's quite rare to go into the worldy and not fight someone like this. Um, it's just because of how overpowered it is at the minute, so they do need to balance that out a bit. I haven't tried this for anything else really like this is my first time doing it in PVM so I haven't tried it on any bosses or whatever so I can't let you know how that is for bosses but if you go in PK and I wouldn't recommend your wield mage unless you're like in a big team if not you know if you're on your own I'd say either go for a staff or go for a shield and a wand because it's just overpowered. Oh, here we go, prayer nearly dropped. So, well, I think that's about it, really. That's all you needed to know. And overall, out of all classes, at the minute, I'd say the most overpowered two is melee tank and mage tank. Uh, but that's for the fact of PvP and not being able to die. Overpowered for damage base, I would say dual wield crossbows. I reckon damage wise that is the strongest. Uh, and then second best for damage wise is probably, um, like for example, two handed, you know, chaotic maul, I'd say, something like that. Because you can just deal some insane damage as long as you play it right and you're good with abilities. Like for example, if you're good at League of Legends, you know, anything like that, you'll understand how to use abilities properly and whatnot, um, and how to set them up. I would make one, like a video on hybrid and, and whatnot, you know, with your ability bar and all that, but realistically it's not even smart to do that on this anymore, you know, just uh, stick with one thing and if you really want to try and bread, I'd just say switch your set out and then switch your ability bar to the next bar, you know what I mean? So. Well, that concludes the actual set of videos. That was melee, then range, then mage. And I hope you enjoyed them all. I hope they all helped you. And, yeah, please remember to 
like, comment, and if you're not already subscribed to me and you like my content, then please hit that subscribe button because it will help me to help you. Definitely leave me a comment letting me know what type of videos you want to see. Hopefully I should be able to get a money-making guide out next week. Um, but obviously I can't promise nothing just in case. Um, but yeah, until next time people, I've been OMF Saws, and peace.